So what does the shiny stone actually do? Well, if you look at the tooltip, it says it quote, greatly increases life regeneration when not moving. And yes, that is true. It does do that after all. However, you might not know that it does a little bit more than just that. In fact, it actually has six different and distinct effects that all contribute to its healing abilities. These aren't mentioned explicitly in the game, but they are real and true, and as such, we will talk about them. The buffs of the Shiny Stone are broadly divided into two categories, which I'll call Auxiliary and Main. The Auxiliary buffs are little bonuses the stone gives when you're standing still, while Main buffs are the buffs that make the Shiny Stone the Shiny Stone. Both of these categories of buffs are activated as soon as you stop moving and stop firing your weapon. The first auxiliary effect of the shiny stone is a mitigation of debuff damage. If you are being inflicted by a damage dealing debuff, like poison, then standing still with the shiny stone will have the debuff's damage over time. A small buff, but quite useful. Following that, the second and third auxiliary effects are very straightforward. The second is just a simple plus 2 HP per second. This is equivalent to the buff a regeneration potion provides, or a heart lantern and band of regen combined. The third effect then adds an extra half HP per second on top of that if you aren't losing HP to a debuff. This is equivalent to the healing granted by the moon charm at night. Quite a nice addition. Now, it's time for the powerful main effects. Unlike the three auxiliary effects which grant little buffs and bonuses, these powerful main effects work by borking the absolute hell out of natural regeneration. You see, natural regeneration is heavily based on time. The longer it's been since you've taken damage, the more effective natural regeneration is, in a semi-linear fashion. The shiny stone affects this positively in three ways. First, it massively boosts the rate natural regeneration ramps up, meaning your natural regeneration will ramp up 400% faster. Secondly, after a short while, it automatically sets your natural regen timer to 30 seconds, kickstarting your regeneration, skipping the slowest parts of natural regen. And third, it increases the natural regen cap from 60 seconds to 210 seconds, so you can sustain much faster regen rates. Instead of capping at something like 10 HP per second, it can go as high as 50 HP per second, which is ludicrous. All three of these effects combine to turbocharge natural regen, which is what you see when you use the shiny stone. The first buff makes sure your natural regeneration grows quickly, the second buff avoids wasting time, and the last buff allows your regen to climb sky high. When you think orange sparks, you think this. However, we're not done yet. Aside from those five effects, the shiny stone has two others too. These are unique in that they apply only when the user is moving or firing, not the opposite. That's right, the shiny stone actually does stuff when you're moving, too. Granted, you'll be forgiven for not noticing, as these effects are barely noticeable, but still, they do exist. These two, quote, passive effects are increasing natural regeneration by 10% and mitigating certain regen losses. The first natural regen buff is pretty simple. It's just a straight multiplicative 10% buff to natural regen. That's it. The second buff is a bit more complicated. You see, on Expert Mode, Natural Regeneration is actually halved if you don't have any of the food buffs active. Ferrobite also does the same thing if you have the debuff active too. What the Shiny Stone does in these cases is that it lessens their penalties by 25%. That is, instead of halving your Natural Regeneration, it reduces it by 25% instead. These two buffs are perhaps the most unnoticeable buffs in the entire game. They affect one of the most transparent mechanics in the game only in specific scenarios and only by a slight amount. Sometimes I wonder why these passive buffs were added, but eh, I'm not complaining. So those are the six, no, eight, separate effects of the shiny stone. It probably does quite a bit more than you thought it did. Unfortunately, it's still not enough to make the shiny stone a good accessory. Regenerating while having to stand still, not fire, and not get hit is just terrible for boss fights where you move, shoot, and often get hit. There's no way around that. To me, though, it still is one of the more interesting expert mode accessories. Maybe in 1.4.5, they'll redeem it to be somewhat useful. Hello, if you enjoy my content, consider subscribing as only about a quarter of you are. Related videos are on the left and right. Either way though, thank you for watching, and good day, and goodbye. See you next week.